So, let's solve this problem. So, for the derivative of trigonometric functions, and this is the formula to find the derivative of a trigonometric function, then for this given to find the derivative, so we have y prime equals, so just bring down the constant, then times the derivative of cosine, and since the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this becomes negative sine, then 4x minus 5 times the derivative of u, or the derivative of 4x minus 5, so this is 4, then plus, bring down the constant, then times, the derivative of sine, and since the derivative of sine is positive cosine, so this is cosine 5x plus 4, then times the derivative of u, or the derivative of 5x plus 4, so this is 5. Then to simplify, so multiply this 5, and 4, so 5 times 4, that's 20, then this is negative, so we have negative 20, then sine 4x minus 5, then plus, multiply this 7 and 5, so this is 35, then cosine 5x, plus 4. So this is now the derivative. Then for is given to find the derivative. So first, we can write this given as tangent 3x quantity to the power 4. So we just need to put this exponent outside. Then using the general power formula for the derivative. So we have y prime equals so, 4 then times tangent 3x, then minus 1 for the exponent, so that's 3, then times the derivative of tangent, and the derivative of tangent is second squared, so this becomes second squared, 3x then times the derivative of 3x, that's 3. Then to simplify, so multiply this 4 and 3. So 4 times 3, this is 12. Then we have tangent, so we can put this exponent. Tangent to the power 3, then 3x. Then we have second squared, 3x. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so again using the general power formula, but first we need to put this exponent outside. So y equals cosine 2x plus 6, then quantity to the power 2, then using the general power formula. So we have y prime equals, so this is 2, then times cosine 2x plus 6, then minus 1 for the exponent, so this is to the power 1, then times the derivative of cosine, so that's negative sine, so this is negative sine 2x plus 6, then times the derivative of u or the derivative of 2x plus 6, so this is 2. Then to simplify, so y prime equals multiply these two numbers. So this is a negative because we have this negative sign. So we have negative 4. Then cosine 2x plus 6, then times sine. 2x plus 6, but take note that we have this double angle identity, 
So if we have 2 sin A cosine A, this is equal to sine 2A. So for this equation, so all you have to do is just to divide this negative 4 by 2. So this becomes negative 4 divided by 2. Then copy the sign and multiply this angle by 2. So this becomes sine 2 times 2x plus 6. So this is how to do the double angle identity for sine and cosine. Then to simplify, so y prime equals negative 4 divided by 2. This is negative 2. Then sine, you multiply. So this is 4x plus 12. And this is now the derivative. Then for this even, so first we need to check if there is an identity for this trigonometric function. So using this figure to find the different identities. So this is sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, second, and cosecond. So take note that if this is sine over tangent, this is equal to cosine. Then if we have cosine over cotangent, so cosine over cotangent, so the result is the function before this two function. So this is equal to sine. Then if we have tangent over second, so tangent over second, so that's equal to sine. Then if we have cosecant over second, so for cosecant over second, that's equal to cotangent. So for this given, sine over tangent and sine over tangent so this is equal to cosine so this function is equal to cosine 7x plus 1 then to find now the derivative so y prime equals for cosine and the derivative of cosine is negative sine then 7x plus 1, then times the derivative of 7x plus 1. So this is 7. So we have now y prime equals negative 7, then sine 7x plus 1. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so again using the trigonometric identities, so for the product of these two functions, so this is sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, second, and cosecant. So for the product of these two functions, the result is the middle function. So if we have sine times second, so sine times second, the result is the middle function. So this is equal to tangent. Then if we have sine times cotangent, so sine times cotangent, the result is the middle function. So this is equal to cosine. Then if we have tangent times cosine, so tangent and cosine, the result is the middle function, that's sine. So for this given, cosine times cosecant so cosine times cosecant so the middle function is cotangent so therefore these functions is equal to cotangent 4x 
Then we can find now the derivative. So y prime equals 4 cotangent. The derivative is negative cosecant squared. Then 4x times the derivative of 4x, that's 4. Then we have y prime equals negative 4 cosecant squared 4x. And this is now the derivative. Then 4 is given. So using this double angle identity, so again, to find the identity, just divide this by 2. So 5 divided by 2, then we have sine. Then times 2 for the given angle. So 2 times the angle is 3x. Then this is y equals 5 over 2 sine 6x. Then we can find now the derivative. So y prime equals, so just bring down the constant. Then the derivative of sine, that's cosine. So this is cosine u. Then times the derivative of 6x, that's 6. Then to simplify, so multiply this 5 over 2 times 6. So just multiply this numerator and 6. And this is 30 over 2. Then cosine 6x. Then y prime equals 30 over 2. This is 15. Then cosine 6x, so this is now the derivative. Then 4 is given, so using this double angle identity for cosine. So for cosine squared a minus sine squared a, this is equal to cosine 2a. So first, we need to convert this given using the trigonometric identity. So we have cosine squared minus sine squared, so this is equal to cosine then 2 times the angle, and the angle is 5x. Then this becomes y equals cosine 10x. Then to find now the derivative, so for the derivative of cosine, that's negative sine. Then 10x times the derivative of 10x, that's 10. And we have y prime equals negative 10, then sine 10x.